let's see where it takes us. We're just going to surrender and let the divine guide us. So sit up nice and straight. We're going to get in uh, with the breathing today. <clears throat> so for breathing, we have the uh, Dhyana Mudra, okay? the element air and fire together. So sitting up nice and straight, straighten your spine. If you need to rock side to side, find your sit bones. Relax your legs, wherever you are, whatever position you are. If you just want to be comfortable and crisscross, it's all good too. If you want to put the pillows underneath, if you're not able to put them uh, completely down like this, you can put some pillow underneath here and then you can be relaxed there. Yeah. So welcome whoever is joining me now. Uh, good morning. Namaste. Thank you for being here today. We're going to start right in with the breathing. Hands in the Dhyana Mudra, spine straight, relax shoulders, relax arm. Very gently just place your wrist on your knees. If you're sitting on a chair, that's fine too. If you're sitting on the floor, that's fine too. Maybe have a pillow underneath. So that I was talking about just now. So gently close your eyes, roll your tongue up. We don't need to force that, just let it happen very gently. Tuck the chin in, okay? So there is a difference. When you have your uh, neck just the way it is and you tuck the chin in, you'd, you'd probably have to go all the way down, right? To kind of have a way. I don't want to lock this. You know, locking the neck is called the Jalandar Bandha. So I don't want you to have that Bandha, but just move the neck, head just a little bit back and then put the chin down. You'll see the difference, okay? So. We're going to move the head just a little bit back and then put the chin down. Just a little bit. We don't want to lock this so you can't even breathe, okay? Just a, just a very tiny tilt the head down. And take that nice deep breath through the nose and <sighs> thank you for being with me today. So this is a being with me breath. <laughs> take a nice deep breath. Blow it with your mouth. Another breath in through the nose. <sighs> breathe it out through the mouth. Next breath we'll take in. We're gonna count in our head, maybe four, three, two, one, and follow that. Follow the breath in, filling in your lungs, pushing the diaphragm underneath the lungs. Going the belly, maybe. And a little pause. Kumbhaka. Before we breathe out, so when you breathe out, the belly goes in first. Then the diaphragm relaxes. Then the lungs get empty and the breath comes out through the nose. So we're going to count it six, five, four, three, two, and one. So we always want to make exhale a little longer than the inhale. Okay. Because we, we need to empty it all the way. Okay. Before we get in. So clearing it out. You need to empty it out. So exhale is very important. We take another breath in. Four, three, two, one right into your spine this time and exhale it out six five four three two one next inhale imagining the breath coming in from your crown chakra from the head into the spine all the way to your Muladhar chakra, the bottom of the spine. As you inhale, light, you know, bring the light in into your spine. I didn't count this time, but you can count in your head. And then exhale through the nose only. When you're ready, six, five, four, 
three, two, one. And as you exhale, making sure you're pulling in all the dirty energy from all the chakra from bottom up and out to the nose. Okay, let's do that again. Inhale, you can already feel the crown chakra being activated in four, three, two, one, all the way down. And exhale, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We'll take three more breaths like that. So four, three, two, one. Inhale deep into your spine. And exhale, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Another one. Feeling the light come in through your spine. Full deep breath in. Feeling alive. Being grateful. And exhale. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let go. Let go with that exhale. Exhale, we reach out to the universe. Inhale, we invite it in. So take another one. Let's make this the last breathing with this technique. Nice deep inhale to the crown all the way to the bottom of the spine and exhale six five four three two and one you know you can relax the neck if you are uh, tilted just breathe the way your body wants to breathe no, no interruption, no control. So when we begin, whatever we begin, we just give ourselves a few minutes to breathe consciously, which is immediately come in here and now. Whatever going on in your mind, It doesn't make that much, take that much importance anymore. So with that nice deep breath in, open your eyes. We're gonna open our arms as well. Take a deep breath in, reach up. And bringing both hands together, draw them down into the heart. And rest right there. Heart is our home. Take another deep breath in and out and we'll chant Om three times as we begin our practice today together. Ready? <clears throat> Let's go. Observe the silence after this beautiful sound. Another deep breath in. All the breath come out. And you rejoice in that silence. That's the duty state of the mind is the ultimate. Take another one more deep breath in. Oh. Oh. 
already the peace is making home in our mind. Already the light is coming into our heart. May you enjoy this session. Let me give you a few reminders. Please remember the law of Ahimsa. Not being judgmental and not going against your body. Please listen to it carefully. That's what we are here for, to listen to the body. Whatever it's saying, if it's saying it's painful, it's okay. We're not judging it. And we're not pushing it away or we're not ignoring it. Body is our best friend. And let's take care of it. So please do what you can. You do not have to do everything that I'm doing or I'm asking you to do. There is no compulsion. <clears throat> do as you wish. You may just spend the whole session lay down or sitting up or whatever feels comfortable for you, for your body today. You know, we change every day and every day we have a new body. So today we are newborn again and you're meeting this body for the first time today. That's how you need to look at it. And you have to greet it with the respect and honor and full understanding, like a friend, beautiful friend. By the way, there was a friendship day, and I uh, appreciate all my friends who are here today with me. So having said all that, take a nice deep breath in and let it all settle deep within you. And whatever drove you today to be here with me on this mat today, I really appreciate you. And I'd like you to remind you of that intention. And may that intention be fulfilled. That will be the driving force for your practice. Take another deep breath in. All that settle in with you and exhale, open your eyes very gently. Bring your both hands to the side. We're just going to start with the neck rolls. Chin to chest. Spine is always straight, shoulders are always relaxed. No exception to that rule. So chin to chest, take a nice deep breath in and out right here. Inhaling, looking up very gently. Oh, nice stretch in the front of the neck. And exhale, come to the north center. Complete your exhalation. Nice deep inhale. Exhale to the right shoulder. Inhale back in to the normal. Exhale to the left shoulder, feeling the stretch in the side. Inhale, coming to the center. Another deep inhale and exhaling right ear to the right shoulder. Keeping the shoulder down, feeling this stretch in the side of the neck, opening the tissues, opening the muscles. You may take another breath if you're holding that longer. Coming back to the center, exhaling to the left. Inhaling back. We're going to bring chin back to chest and we're going to start rolling the neck full circle. Starting with the right. As you start to inhale, right ear to right shoulder. As you start to look up, start to exhale, left, towards the left, left ear to left shoulder, starting to exhale. As you bring chin back to the chest, complete your exhalation. Take your time doing this. No jerk, no sudden moments, just very smooth, consciously with your breath, right? You just become one with your breath as you roll your neck. So take another deep breath in and out as your chin is at the chest. And then with the next inhale, start with the left side, full circle. As you start to look up, exhale. 
it needs to flow very smooth and gentle in a rhythmic way. Then you become one with this moment. And there's nothing else. It's just a beautiful experience. I hope you're experiencing that. And any little thing you do in yoga, just like this, it just becomes the yoga. So our journey starts right away. You may feel like this is such a small, subtle exercise. Okay, we're not here to uh, just to sweat our body. We will sweat, I promise. <laughs> but this is what we are here for, to become one, to become one with all of this. And take a nice deep breath in and out. Take, <clears throat> take your right arm up. And let's bend to the side, opening the right side of our body. Looking up, if you have a sky, then it's great. If you have ceiling, I hope you don't see any lizards. <laughs> and inhaling, reaching out, exhaling down. I was used to be scared of that in India. Inhaling, bringing your arm up and exhale down. Inhale up and exhale down. Let's open up our feet in front of us together for now. <clears throat> front, back, front, back. Let's rotate. They're just waking up for me, so I feel the stretch very well and very good. I'm taking it. So shake your legs a little bit, kneecaps, move them up, down, side to side. Give them some love. You're going to need them for the rest of the practice. Awesome. We're going to row the boat. Inhaling, coming up. So you're in an L shape. Right? If your knees try to come up, try to bring them down. If they just don't want to come up, you can put a pillow underneath and just be comfortable right where you are. So accepting what your body is telling you, okay? Not forcing it. <clears throat> nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, you can bend your knees a little bit. Let belly come fall on the thighs as you fall forward from the lower back. Lower back is our primary intention. So until now, I'm keeping my back straight, okay? As I go down more, I'm starting to bend my middle spine. And then exhale. I'm bending my upper spine. So just notice that step by step, we're coming right into the Paschimottanasana, the forward fold, okay? Extending our spine. So maybe rock side to side, if you got grab of your, uh, um, if you grab your feet, great, if not, Use the belt or dupatta or any you know anything that you you have. If you can't reach your feet, that will help you pull. Okay. So what we're trying to pull is not our shoulders or not our arm. What we're trying to pull is our spine, our spine on our leg. Okay. So I hope you're doing this correctly and watching your body, not being injured. Exhale completely. Your back is extremely important, of course. And this is a great exercise for the spine, makes it flexible. But if you have a lower back issues, you make sure you keep the knees bent. You can put a pillow underneath to stay that way. We're gonna be here. If you have healthy back, you're gonna I will encourage you to straighten your legs all the way down and then go down as much as possible. If it's early morning for you, maybe a little stiff the back is. That's why we come up. As we inhale and row the boat, we kind of make the spine a little, little flexible. As we exhale, going to go down. As we inhale, come back up, just like we row the boat. Full circle to the sides. So completely, let your breath be the guide in this. And inhale, pull yourself up. Notice I'm not bending my elbows but i'm instead pulling my body back so my movement becomes from lower back from the hands of the hips not so much from the upper back exhale inhale coming up and you can grab your knee your shin whatever you can reach up today and give it to 150 percent to just 
meet your head to the knees when that happens so i'm not forcing with my hands i'm just bringing my spine down as much as i can body is a little bit stiff today i'm going to honor that not forcing it so much but also finding my limits okay and inhale reach out to your shin or whatever you can reach out to your legs or if you have the belt come back up so you got the straight arms straight spine and straight legs yeah relaxing arms and shoulders look up and then let go of your arms and come back up and down okay we're going to row the boat on the other way so bringing your arms back up again we're going to reverse so coming down reaching up inhaling coming up exhaling going down becoming one with this moment means just being in this moment completely complete surrender inhaling coming up exhaling that's why you probably notice me um closing my eyes quite often and that's just how my practice is i just always go inside and exhale reaching out to the if you were in my class please then i would be doing so much <laughs> so <clears throat> reach out completely as much as you can if you have to bend the knees fine if you can do it without bending that way too so uh, one more time into paschimottanasan flexing the spine all the way let's stay here don't hold the breath okay keep the easy flow of the breath resistance notice that the desire to come up with the pose notice that and that's actually where the pose begins you know when you want to come out of it such a beautiful concept inhale all virodha bhas right exhale coming down <clears throat> beautiful we're going to come on the hands and the knees after this so spread your um your hands wide apart and tilt a little bit to the side fingers are wide open you have become table top knees under the hip joint your feet are either curled toes are curled or just flat up to you okay so you're here you need to pull push your ab muscles a little bit from the middle to to keep the middle of the spine up notice that core muscles <clears throat> so you're in a neutral position right now we're going to inhale push the hips up little more work on the spine <sighs> exhale and lift the belly button up lift the middle of the spine up push tilt your hip bones in and bring your head down chin to chest exhale completely as you curve your spine upwards like a cat inhale pushing the hips up and head up the middle of the spine goes down so feeling the stretch between each muscle that holds our vertebrae together that's the purpose of this so gently kind of massaging those tissues and those organs these are the things that will help us so i forgot to tell you if you have knee problem you can either roll the mat or put the cushion under your knees okay so take care of your knees those are the best friends we got exhale so another time inhale back up and exhale i'm going to extend this right leg up okay tilt my hips to the side and reach out is the vishwamitra awesome and with a little of little bit of modification to so take a nice deep breath as you do this if you are capable you can bring both feet together into the air and exhale sorry vashishtasan and bringing the hand down tilt your hips towards the mat lift that right leg up completely as much as you can okay awesome keeping the hips towards the mat 
So we don't want to tilt the hips up. We, can, we want to keep them in. Push through the heel up. And we're going to balance on this right arm and left knee and lift up the opposite arm. Reach out, diagonal stretch, beautiful diagonal stretch. Reach out and push back. Reach out with your hands, push back with your leg. Exhale, bringing knee into the chest, keeping the shin up high. Complete that. Inhale, reaching out. Exhale. Straight with the force, breathe it. Inhale. So we're gonna pull the energy in and then like that. Inhale. Inhale. One more time. And exhale, putting the knee down. I'm gonna roll the hips in circle about three times to the right side. And if you feel like it, just take, let's take a child pose, bring them head down with the bent knees. Your knee can be together or apart, up to you. Whatever feels good to you today. Keep the hands stretched where they are. You can feel the stretch in the arm. Let your breath come to normal. The next inhale, let's lift up and come back to our business. Come back to the all fours, the tabletop. And then <clears throat> tilt your hand, just making your um, position right, like it was in the beginning, yes. This time we're gonna extend that left leg. Bring it up first. Trying to find our limit as you have the hips towards the mat. Up, down, maybe a couple times, and you'll see. And then finding your balance, okay? You can put the towel or blanket underneath your knee and, and wrist too. If your wrist is bothering you, you can do that too. So whatever, you modify the pose for your needs, your body's needs, okay? There is no hard and fast yoga here. Inhale, reach out, diagonal, and push back to the heel. Feel the diagonal stretch, beautiful. Exhale, knee into the chest, keep the shin up high. Inhale, reach out. Inhale, reaching out. Inhale, reaching out. Inhale, reaching out. Beautiful. Putting your hand down. I'm going to ask you to do one more thing here that we did to the other side. We'll get back to that again. Okay. So we're gonna do a little push up, bringing your chin down and push right back up. Just good. You're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Lifting your right leg up, bringing your chin down, push back up. Feels good, right? And then we're gonna rotate the hips on the other side, left. About three times to do that at the other side. And take Extend the child pose. Widen your knees as wide as the mat. Drop your belly in the center and the head, forehead down. So your hands are flat, reaching out, feeling a great stretch. Take a deep breath in, it's like a frog. And out. Just breathe. After the three breaths you take, inhale and look up. So your hands are, are glued on the mat. You're gonna start, stretch, and bring your belly on the mat. Yes, beautiful. Gonna work a little bit more on the spine before we stand up. So you got flat on the belly, put your, let's get into Makarasan. Hands on the chin. And you're laying down, straight body. Straight body, both feet together. Awesome. You're gonna start to kick your own self for mistakes you made. <laughs> Always, right? And then side to side. And then there are no mistakes. It's always lessons. We don't need to be so hard on ourselves. But this is just a fun reminder. Okay, just move every which way. 
Awesome. Let's bring the both hands, one on top of the other, chin on top of the hand. Lifting your left leg up, support it with the other foot. All right, above or lower the knee, right? not on the knee. Let the ab muscles be open, let the psoas muscles be open. Breathe into the abdomen, uterus, in women, belly, thighs. And exhale, release. Do the other side, same thing. Lifting that leg up and supporting it. While your chin is on your hands. Feel a little pressure on the lower back. It's good for that. Exhale and let's release that. Awesome. We're going to get into Shalabhasan from here. Locust pose. There's a couple of variations to do that. Extend your arms over the head. Turn the palm facing up from inside. Of course, you can't do it outside, right? Inhale, lift your arms up as your shoulders and arms are relaxed. Lift your chest up, rather. That will lift your head up also, okay? As long as you can, as far as you can. Don't hold the breath. That's the biggest mistake we make in this. Lift your both feet off the mat. Don't hold the breath. Relax the face, smile. One more breath right here. Power resistance. And as you exhale, swing the arms back. This time, turn the palm facing up too. And let your arms pull your chest. See how much it can pull. Looking up into the infinity. Staying here. Stability. Sukham asanam, right? Stiram sukham asanam. And exhale, start to start, stay down. Feel each and every muscle relaxing as you do that. It's a dance. Put your head sideways and collapse. Inhale and exhale. Rest. Nice breath. Beautiful. We're going to use the same stretch again, but this time only getting into the Dhanurasan. Ready? Lifting the chest up. So head is bound to go with it, right? Why well, we don't want to just lift the head up because you see this curve in the spine. We don't want it to sharp curve on the very front there, on the very top, okay? We want to keep it like this, steady. So we want to keep the neck with the spine. Lifting the heart up as much as you can. Grab your ankles. Push the heel into the hip. Bring your elbows together behind. Bring your shoulder blades together. Not holding the breath. Easy flow. If your heart is pumping high, you can take a break. If you cannot do this completely or just high blood pressure or whatever is happening, just listen to your body. If you're good to hear, fine, let's move on. So feeling, I want you to feel this stretch for now before we get into full pose. Every step is important. It's the journey that we get into the final pose, not just getting in and out of the pose, right? So now we start each and every moment more you know just observe it how it unfolds into the full dhanurasan now i start to push my legs away from my hands my hands are pulling them in and as i lift the knee up high and i can lift the thighs up high see what you can do don't have to be able to do the exact same thing that i'm doing but whatever your body can do be grateful for that and again the maha mantra but this is a smile, relax the face, to send your mind a signal that all is perfect. Everything is okay. It's okay. We're trying to help the body. Do your final, do your 150%. And exhale, I'm going to ask you to <clears throat> turn to the side if you can with the 
Then we'll have some arm. If you cannot, that's okay. And then come right back on the belly. You can take a break by putting the head on the side. Relax the arms if you want. And just collapse your body break. Deep breath in and out. Heart is racing maybe. Just a little stretch, right? What you can do to your body. Really good for the lower back health. So I hope you're doing it fine. And you can always shoot me any questions if you have after the session or even find me. Text me, anything. We're going to get into this one more time. So grab those ankles. Push them in. Lift the chest up. Bring your shoulder blades together behind, elbows. Start to push and pull. Lift as you lift. So there's three forces, right? You lift against the gravity, your knee and thighs. Beautiful. I just love this pose. Tanurasan. Keeping face relaxed. Smile. When you get into the full pose. Wow, beautiful. Get into the other side. Roll. Holding the pose. Deep breath in. Exhale, come back to the belly. Release the pose very gently. Feel each moment as you do so. Step by step. See what's happening in each muscle. Your hand, your arm, your legs, your knees. Your belly, your thighs, your heart. And then how's your breath? Deep breath in and out. Just lay flat on the belly. As if somebody has dropped you from the top. You're the fly on the wall. Still looking the witness, watching it all. A couple breaths. We're going to transition from here into Bhujangas and the Cobra pose. Again, we're going to leave the legs where they are. If your feet want to be apart, it may happen because of your hip structure. And just honor whatever is the natural position is. If you can bring them together, that's great, but don't force it. Lifting the chest. Let's bring our hands under the shoulders. Elbows are snug to the side of the body. So making sure the fingertips end up with your shoulder aligning. That's the important thing here. Very minimum pressure or even no pressure on your hands as I lift my chest up to find my strength of my spine alone. Into the Pujangasana. Beautiful. See what you can do without pressure. Still very small pressure. I'm starting up line now as I lift up into big cobra. It's like a rising sun. Beautiful feeling. Keeping my elbows snug to the side. Not doing this. Rolling the shoulders back. So the heart pulls towards the sky. Let the light in, pressure, big pressure on the lower back. That's what we want. Squeeze those muscles to heal. And the nice stretch in the psoas in the front abdominal muscles. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pose to give it your full strength and power to it. I'm gonna come on the knees as I scale up into Adho Mukha Shwasana, our favorite, yes. <laughs> Inverted V pose. Adjusting the feet towards it. Bringing my head into my arms. Stretching my hips up. Trying to keep my heels down. Maintaining the distance between the both feet about. Just one feet apart. Hip width apart. Placing my feet grounded. 
Maybe lift the toes and see how you feel. And then push your hips up a little bit more if you can. From the bottom of your palms. So shift your weight towards the back of your body. Towards your legs. Okay. That's what we do. So mostly we are here. But we start to shift the weight to the back. This is what happens. So I would say that bring your heart closer to your thighs. That will do it. Nod your head. Shake your head. So relax your shoulder muscles around. Bend one knee at a time to stretch one side at a time. Inhaling to the nose here. Exhaling, making a lion's breath. <sighs> Sticking the tongue out. Let it all go. It will make the throat dry. We have water afterwards for this. <sighs> Just do it in dust. Do it freely. <sighs> one more time. Roar of a lion as you keep paddling, reaching the full. Maybe raise your heels up high. See, putting the heel down, raise your toes, push your body's weight back again, looking up towards your hands. You're going to walk baby feet or jump or however you want to meet your hands. So I got my feet in between my hands. My legs are straight. And I'll start to rise my hands. So I lift my hands up. So a lot of work on my arms. I'm going to just relax them, swing them, sway them, circle them, whatever. Let the gravity play here. Okay? So the gravity is playing. I'm going to take advantage of this. To rotate my wrist other way. Awesome. Inserting my hands inside from the front of the feet, underneath the feet. And then applying the pressure on the feet so I can so I can pull. Pull the, I'm pulling the hands down. It's good for the carpal tunnel. Keep it here. And then release. I'm going to bend my knees as I swing my arms from front to back. Just do that a couple times. Feels good. And I'm going to grab that Mother Earth energy coming up through the Utkatasana. Rising like a sun. Oops. Small back bend, hands to the side, stretching all the way, the muscles around the chest. Join them together as you join, as soon as you join, feel the touch of the each fingertips touching each other. And then touching the warmth of your heart. Maybe still pounding. Close your eyes. Fall in love and stay there with yourself, with your breath, with your oneness. And just hold that place for a little bit. Still, stillness speaks the most. What is your body feeling like? What is all this tingling about? A little curiosity peeps in. That takes us closer to the answers. A little peek inside of our body into our breath. See how is your breath? Prana, my body. The second subtle body. And then getting deeper into your mind body, Manomai Kosha. Scanning it in. Diving in. It comes your intuitive body, Vijnan My Kosha. And that comes your bliss body, the Ananda My Kosha. 
If you got to that, that's great. If not, that's okay. Enjoy where you are. Just being thankful for each particle of the energy flowing in and out. Bringing our breath to normal as it is the bridge between the mind and the body. Opening your eyes gently. Let's get a drink of water if you need to. Just gonna mute all. Okay, <clears throat> so let's get standing up. Put your hands to, on the waist, turning side to side, just wait a little bit. <sighs> Beautiful. Bending your knees, shaking the leg. <sighs> Nicely. A little bit more pampering of the knees and balance. So standing tall in the mountain pose. <sighs> Lifting your right leg up. Just swing it from front to back without bending the knee, right? So, just swinging it front to back without bending the knee. Circle it without bending the knee. Other side. Just working on a little hip joint. So do the same thing on the other side. Swinging the leg without bending the knee, balance. If you, need, if you have something to grab onto, that's fine. Do that. Circle with the straight leg from the hip joint. Circle. On the other side. A little bit of advance, but you can hold the, you can hold the wall if you have to. Awesome. Again, balance, lifting the right leg, holding from underneath. And just kick, rotate from the knee, loosening up the knees, muscles around it. Relax, do the same thing on the other side, kick, rotate, circle, other side. Beautiful. We're going into Trikonasana. From here, so spreading both feet apart, like about three to four feet. Turning, what I want to do is have a little prep for the Ardhashandrasana today. So Ardhashandrasana is half moon pose. It's a little bit of an advanced pose, but we're going to try anyway and see where we can get to that. Uh, don't have to go all the way. There's modifications will apply. So... So right foot out, left foot in, just a little bit to the angle. Imaginary line between the heel of the front foot to the middle of the back, yes? Whole body is in one plane, beautiful, nice, straight, feel, feel this position, feel the thighs, feel the leg, opening up both arms to the shoulder level, relaxing the, the muscles around the neck, yes? And then reaching out, and then bending down from the sideways. So keeping this hip tilted. So I'm trying to keep this right hip up, right hip bone out, and the left hip bone back. So if you have to do this with force, just do that first with putting your hands on. See how you feel. This muscle starts to stretch, and then you feel that. Instead of just falling forward and reaching to the toe, right? That's not our purpose. Our purpose is right here, right here. That's what we, not, we want to do. We want to go down like this, reach out, lengthen the spine, lengthen the spine, and then go down. Full lengthening. Perfect. So if your spine or this area is longer, you can feel the perfect triangle. You can see it. Mine is short, so you cannot see that. <clears throat> Raise that arm up, aligning with the other. 
try to look up if you can. Don't need to break our neck if you cannot. All good. Breathe, normal, gentle, maintaining the stability. Five, four, three, two, and one. Gently coming out of this pose as somebody's pulling this arm up and you come out. <sighs> Beauty of Trikonasana. Just makes you feel free and stretches all of your side of the body. I'm gonna turn the, turn the feet just the way. So the left foot is out now, right foot is in. Whole body in the same plane, same order. Use your core muscles, reaching out. Reaching out as long as you can, lengthening the spine, bending sideways. Sideways, if you just go down here, all good, but just do it sideways. So keep it sideways, sideways, beautiful. Look up if you can. Your one side might be more flexible than the other, and that's okay. Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhaling, let that arm pull you up, beautiful. What I'm gonna do is just from here, turn my hips to the left foot. So my hip is towards the left foot. I'm gonna bend the front knee coming into the warrior. Okay. If, you, if you feel like you're more flexible in bringing your hips down more, making a right angle right here, then you need to adjust the length of the feet between each other. So what I don't want to do is I don't want this knee to fall ahead of that heel. That's my main thing. Engage the core muscles, lifting your both arms up. And then sink those hips down as much as you can possibly. Yes? Feeling like a warrior. Beautiful. Open up the arms if you have to. That will open up the lungs and the rib cage around it. Look up. Heart is open of the warrior. It's a heart warrior. Inhale and open up. Inhale and open up. So this is a little bit hard on your knees. You can take a break if it is too long. <clears throat> but I'm gonna roll my <clears throat> arms and come into warrior two right from here by tilting the spine into Trikonasana mode again. So bringing my hips to the side again, yeah? And then making the both arms up. So there we are in the warrior two, beautiful. One more breath. As you exhale, reverse this warrior. Put, drop the back hand up, down, and lift the front one. And exhale, I'm gonna put my elbow on my thigh. Let's see if I can drop my hip a little bit down more. Awesome. And I'm gonna lift my arm up so my whole body is in one line. Pashukonasana. Nice deep breath right here. One more. And one more. I know I said I was gonna get easy today, but this is where it took me. Exhale, and I'm gonna put my hand down. And I'm gonna come from here into pigeon. So putting my shin down and sinking my whole body down like this. Coming into pigeon. Yes. Lifting my body up, upper body up. If it is too hard for some of you, just take a break. Come into child pose, whatever feels good. But here we are today in the pigeon. So keeping, uh, keeping the upper body up like pigeon. Always has the head up, right? And trying to bring the lift in. So if you want to be more comfortable and longer in this position later, you can put the pillow underneath your thighs to fill in the gap and stay here a little longer. That's really good hip stretch, really good hoop, hoop, sorry, hip opener. So it's where we tend to store a lot of stress. It really feels good. 
a nice deep breath in. I was getting to the Ardha Chandrasana and it led me to Pigeon. That's a wonderful thing with flowing with the flow. I'm going to get into a little deeper stretch by bending that back, grabbing that back heel and bringing it in. A little deeper. Beautiful. We're gonna get into full Kapotasan. If you can get that into your elbow, lifting the other arm up and binding it behind your neck. See if you can do that, not that's good where you are. This is a little bit of advanced variation of the Kapotasana. They call it mermaid also. We're gonna let it go. And but this is what's important. This gives the full stretch from the front of the thighs and everything, opening up all those vessels, all those areas, dark areas in our body that don't see the sunshine, right? Let it go completely. We're gonna come back to business, bring the hands in the front. We're gonna lift our body up into Adho Mukha Shwasana. Slow and gentle transition. We're gonna walk to the front. Oops. And we're gonna have ourselves stand up very gently and slowly. No sudden moment to kind of shock our heart, shock our mind, shock our breath, right? That's the purpose of yoga. Beautiful. From here, we're gonna come into warrior on the other side. So inhale, bring your both arm up. <clears throat> bring that left leg back, right leg in the front. Adjust the length. So you make the right angle in the front. Perfect. Now here you can stagger your foot a little bit. So the back foot can be towards the left if, if it is hard to balance, okay? <clears throat> We're going to bend the front knee. Sink your sink hip down as much as you can possibly. You're coming into warrior A. <sighs> Bringing your both arms up. <sighs> Tilt back just a little bit. Looking up towards the sky, ceiling, whatever it is, sunshine. Opening the arms, so opening up the rib cage, maintaining the balance while you hold into this warrior, feeling like a warrior. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Uh, <clears throat> we're gonna come into the warrior two from here, swinging the arm and tilting the hips to the side. So our whole body's in one plane now. Adjust again and see if we can think a little bit more and more and more. I'm gonna turn around to get onto the same side, but facing you. So <clears throat> coming into warrior two. As you find yourself comfortable wherever you are, you're going to open your arms to the shoulder level. Beautiful. Everything is in one plane. Dropping that back hand, lifting the front arm, opening up the ab muscles completely to bend in front, bringing the elbow on the thigh. They will allow your hips to go down a little bit more, yes? And extend that arm. So your whole body is in one nice arm. Parshaponasan. Deep breath. Five, four, three, two, and one. As you exhale, gonna bring the hand around that front leg and coming into pigeon on the other side. Beautiful. I'm gonna take a rain check on the other Chandrasan because that's another little bit tough pose that we don't wanna do it all together. Cool. So turning my hips towards the mat as much as possible. That's the goal of this. And keep, oh, this is like a liver to your pose, your leg. I hope you can see me. So the more you open it, the deeper the stretch will be. Okay, so do it as per your capacity today. 
And as I said, you can always put the pillow underneath here to stay here a little longer. Now, keep your body straight. You feel a little pinch on the lower back and that's what we want to feel. Feeling nice, open, openness up everywhere. I'm trying to keep that other leg active. Deep breath in. And then gently grab that back heel. Bring it in. It's a beautiful stretch of the psoas right here. Beautiful stretch. Now close your eyes and just let the beautiful positive energy flow into that area. Let go of all the stale, dirty energy stored in that area. From your Muladhara Chakra, from your Radhishthana Chakra, all those three lower chakras, let it all go. And then if you're ready to get into full pose, get this in your elbow and bind, keeping the head up. Nice deep breath, easy. Don't have to get to that. You can always use the belt right here to get into this deeper stretch, right? And let go slow and steady, gentle. So here we are in the seated position. We're gonna come into the Vajrasan right from here. Gosh, time just flies. And you're having fun. So here we are in Vajrasana. Take a drink of water if you need to. I do. <clears throat> so if you cannot sit in the Vajrasana, you're good on a chair, wherever you are. Just keep your spine straight. Deep breath in, smack a fist, put it around the navel. Exhale completely, take out all your breath, completely out. And then, holding forward, putting pressure on your belly, making sure you're not pregnant, you have menstrual, menstrual problems, surgery, any of that, it is your responsibility. To not <clears throat> torture yourself. That's not our point. Right? So you don't want to torture our body. You want to help it. Be friendly with it. Not against it. Open your eyes since your prana is stopped. Traveling in and out. Whenever and as soon as you feel like breathing in, release, take a nice deepest breath ever. Blow it into your mouth, your home. Beautiful. Let's come into, let's come into Ustrasana. So coming on your knees, that's camel, camel pose, right? Again, you can uh, put the cushion underneath your knees if you feel like it. Okay. And your body is nice and straight right here. We're going to get into Ardha Ustrasana, half camel first. Swinging the arm completely from the shoulder joint. Okay, watch that. Because each and every moment is useful and helpful to get into that asana that we are trying to get into. Our fingers nice and wide open, finding your hip bone. Spreading your fingers on your that right hip as a fan, covering it. So my top of the palm is finding the hip bone, and then from there I spread my finger. I bring my elbows behind, so I have a nice little stretch up here. We're gonna do the same thing on here, finding my hip bone is my top, and now I'm good, okay? So watch this. 
and then I'm going to start to bring my both elbows together, shoulder blades together, start to push my hips up gently, drop my spine. Did you see I adjusted my knees because I felt it is too close, okay? So I wanted to make it appropriate to my hip joint that is little, that allowing me here. So that's the feel I had. Now you feel that for your own body and adjust yourself. So it was like this, I went like this, notice that. So do the same thing for your body. If it feels like you need to be a little bit apart, do that. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna push the hip down to roll the spine out. Ah, beautiful stretch. as much as your body allows you. Don't hold the breath, don't stress the face. Very gently, with the support of your hand, come back up. Keep your hands where they are, okay? So keep your hands where they are, we can get into the child pose right away. So bringing your hip down, as you're there, keep your hands where they are, and you're gonna fold forward. Feel that need for this. There is an extreme need for this after the stressor. Now release your hands and you can bring them down the side. Deep breath in and out. Or in the front. Up to you. Just surrender. Easy breath. One more. I want to bring the top of the head down on the mat, closer to the knees. Okay. And then we're gonna roll the top of the head and bring your hips up. I call it rabbit pose. Just a little extra helpful for massaging your head. I usually go like two, three times like this and then Get myself up. Beautiful. Awesome. <clears throat> We're going to come into Bandha Konasana, the butterfly from here. So here we are into butterfly. Taking the time. We're good. Pull in as much as you can those feet into your ground. And together, we're going to massage it completely, the bottom of the feet. Nice. Play with your toes, flap the wings of the butterfly. All about hip opening today. Awesome. Let's stretch the legs. One leg, complete stretch. Hold it. We were gonna grab it with both hands and hold it up. Maybe we can grab it from here and hold it up. We can grab it on the knee and then hold it up to bring the head to knee. Whatever we can do today. Yeah? So you can do it all the way as per your body's capacity. We bring it down. Do the same thing on the other side. <clears throat> Again, you have to break any bone. <laughs> Remember that. So stretch, 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 stretch. That feels good. Very good, in fact. We're gonna get closer. Maybe more closer. Bringing head to me. Awesome. And let go. We're gonna bring both knees together. Give them a nice hug. Come to the top of the mat a little bit. Roll the spine. My favorite part. <clears throat> so let's introduce something new that I did I think last time too. I know you don't have to do this. But just a little playful thing that I like to do. So 
I bring my both feet together in the butterfly, okay, right here. And I roll back and then I open them up. And if I can touch a little bit advanced, then I bring them back in the butterfly and then I roll up and then I bend forward all the way. So this is a great exercise for the full spine. If you can do it and you have fun with it, just have fun with it. If you cannot, please don't try it. It's a little bit of fun. But if you do this, if you are able to do this and you do this three, four times, it's really fun. It kind of makes your whole body alive. This. <laughs> Keep losing my... So you, you're here, and this time you're down. Just keep your knees hugged into the chest and stay down into Pawan Muktasan. <clears throat> Rocking side to side just a little bit. Massaging the muscles that holds the vertebrae. Feels good, yes? Putting your hands on the feet on the mat. Hope you can see me. Going to go for Matsyasana, the fish pose. <clears throat> so straighten your legs, both palms underneath your hips, palm facing down. Okay. So you have the elbows down there. Now what I'm going to do is just lift the chest up and bring the top of my head on the mat. Got it? Hope you got it right. So this is to open up the chest on the mat. Now if you want to stay here longer, you can always put pillows under your chest. So it's elevated. It helps you open the lungs. And if you like advanced, you can lift the both feet up. Find your core muscles. Exhale and release very gently, bringing your chest back on the mat. Bend your knees. I wonder what that noise is. Bringing your both feet closer to your hips, flat. Beautiful. Gonna now come into something that's a little bit of a reverse of that. Setu Bandhasan, the bridge pose. Start to lifting your hips up. Couple of variations. If you like, you can <clears throat> hold your ankles and, and lift up. So it's like a Dhanurasan on the mat, right? O opposite way, kind of. What it does, it just opens up your lungs, brings the blood into your thyroid and your head. That's one position. That's another. And the third one is that you hold your hips up. Help it up. And then you feel, feel like you throw one leg up in the air at a time. And slowly release. As you release, bringing your hip closer to your thigh, so you're lengthening the spine as you do so. Beautiful. Nice deep breath. In and out, let's hug your knees one more time into the chest. We haven't really done much of a twist today, so let's do a spinal twist. Let go of that left leg. Hold the right knee in. Then bring the right knee to the side. As you open up the right hand. So you have a spinal twist. A beautiful twist twist it gives you a whole stretch from the fingertips to that toes diagonally as you twist the spine turn your head and neck towards the right hand keep that other leg active and straight pushing that knee on the floor as much as possible I'm feeling that beautiful stretch as I inhale 
I send all the positive energy into my spine where he has been twisted, releasing that energy, filling in with the positivity for the new blood cells that are being built right at this very moment. Inhale, fill you in. Exhale, also have a chance to empty us out with all that negativity let go. Release very gently, bringing that knee back into the chest, head to the knee, and let go. Do the same thing on the other side, bringing it in, and to the side. Notice that I'm using my right hand to push that left knee down, and left hand is open, let the gravity take it. And let the stretch happen, twist happen. Keeping that right leg alive and alert and straight. As I twist, feeling the spinal twist, turning my head to the left. Easy breath right into the twisted spine, it's like a DNA structure. Each tissue, each muscle that supports our vertebrae, send in the good signals, strengthening them, send in the prana, vital energy, health. And inhaling and leave this position, this asana, and bringing the knee back into the chest, feeling each and every stretch. As I bring head to me, inhale and exhale, let go. And I'm ready for Shavasana. So we're going to bring both knees into chest one last time. Tightly hold it. Knee to chest, knee, I mean, <laughs> knee, head to knee. Inhale, hold that breath. Tighten your whole body. And then with a the big sigh, you're going to release your whole body in Shavasana. Ready, set, go. <sighs> Just throw it on the Mother Earth, on the mat. It's like someone dropped you from the top. So you're, dro you're dropped flat. Your feet are apart. Top of the feet are down on the side, both arms are away from the body, palm facing up, fingers are curled, we are not controlling. The Shavasana is all about surrendering. The art of surrendering is the hardest to learn. Letting go is the hardest asana. So we practice. And practice makes everything perfect. Practice and all is coming. Satyabhijaya has said that. And that is so true. So we start to get into Shavasana with the Brahmari Pranayam. I invite you to close your ears with your thumb and spread the fingers all around your face. Relax your hands. Inhale through the nose and we exhale through the mouth, making that humming sound. You chant um, and that humming sound comes out of the the breath comes out as a humming sound from your lips, vibration, okay? So I'm gonna sit up, but you stay laying down. And let's start our Brahmari breath. You can go ahead and start. You just need a drink of water. So I'm going to close the earlobes and then spread the fingers around. Inhale to the nose and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
side of your body and dive deep let's relax the whole body meeting and greeting each and every part making sure our forehead is nice and relaxed or face is relaxed shoulders lips are nicely if they want to be open that's okay if they want to be closed that's okay we're not forcing anything your ears are nice and relaxed now spread this relaxation throughout the back of your neck gently down to your right arm each muscle on your right arm is nice and relaxed Feeling the energy on the fingertips. Play of energy. Feel that. Feeling the energy on your left arm. So you're nothing but just energy. We are naming these body parts, the arm, and then you, your consciousness immediately goes there because inside you're conditioned to label those body parts. But if you can get away from this, if you can break free of those levels and just, just experience, just be in that experience, just observe that pure energy. So it doesn't matter then if it's your hand or your stomach or your belly or your feet, it's the same energy that you feel throughout your body. But that's where we want to get. Feel your whole body vibrating, energizing, positive. You extra love to your joints, your hip joint, the big one, knee joint, ankle, hand, fingers, wrist, shoulder. Big love to those big joints. They help you. Big deal. You want them to stay healthy. Long. Now what do we do with the mind? Our body is nice and relaxed. The mind wanders. We give it a job. Maybe focus on the breath. How is your breath? Fill in to the nostril. Go in with your breath. How it enters your lungs, how it travels, how it energizes all your cells. At the molecular level, just get in deep. And then how it leaves your body, it's a little warm sensation. And this goes on and on and without our noticing it much. But once we bring our attention to the breath, everything is just becomes all right, right? Everything becomes perfect. All is well. Peace happens. I invite you to deep dive. I deeply into that peace, the ocean of peace. Stay there. Get lost. Be one. Release. 
is your identity. your eyes closed. Very gently wiggle your toes, fingers. Raise your right arm over your head and turn your body to the right side. Let the blood flow from left to right. Nice deep breath. Keep your eyes closed. And when you feel comfortable, push yourself up into seated crisscross position with the help of your right hand. And you sit up, bringing both hands together as a prayer position into your heart. Feeling the palms facing each other, feeling the touch. I'm going to gently rub both palms together and then make it faster. Bring on the heat on the surface of the palm, but if you can, your energy, the prana. And then Cover your face or your eyes. Make the cup around your eyes. Here, with your closed eyes, see any color you see, or just find comfort in your own seeding darkness. It's all good. It's all part of that Srishti. Open your eyes gently inside the cup. Let all that beautiful healing energy that enter your body. Through the windows of eyes and open your eyes, rotate the eyeballs, right, down, left, up, left, down, right, up, full circle, both sides. And then bless yourself, your heart, or wherever you feel the need to today. Putting your hand on that body part and fill it with that beautiful white energy that you just created for yourself. <sighs> with that concludes our yoga session today. I must stay in the highest to all of that. I found the light that you are. <clears throat> Thank you for joining me in today. And as usual, we're going to burst out in the big laughter together. Okay, so ready, set. Go put your hands to the heart. And three, two, one. <laughs>
Hello, how are you turn on the audio?